All right, so they're going to get right into it, and I'm seeing an Eddie versus another Jin. Let's see how it goes. All right. Let's see the style difference from the last match. Let's get it. 2-4 with the Eddie. I saw him training a little bit against Chenzo before, one of Long Island's top players with yeah. the King, you know. Yeah, definitely. Had to get those buttons warmed up, but guess what? Jin, this Jin has a lot more solid defense than we saw last time. Yeah, you can tell right away off the bat. Nice interrupt there once again. Knows the Eddie matchup pretty well. He's going to give him the advantage here, and JFG Indy's going to take that first round. Yeah, fantastic job right there. Oh, yeah. All right, 2-4, heads onto the ground, and Eddie, a character that has so much uh, deception, so many lows, but even lows you can't punish if you block. It's really weird. Indy's been calling him out, though. Yeah, no, doing a fantastic job, and we saw it the run cancel right there into the dive and the reversal from eddie eddie covers so much range so much space it's so hard to tell unless you really know what's plus what's not he's attacked from so many different hit boxes hit levels all the time yeah and that second round gets matched with the same intensity as the first yeah and these capoeira characters definitely do super amount of mix-up right there if you do not know where they're hitting high right. low right it can get really confusing really quick. No doubt about it. But like you said, JFG Indy's really handling this matchup well. His defense is on point, but 2-4 is starting to get some offense mounted of his own. What a break. Yeah. I didn't even see the throw. That's how quick it was. Ooh. Armor strike from Eddie. Oh, it's a big whiff punish. That would that could have been a launcher if quick enough. Yeah. But yeah. Just punch it out right there. Yeah, you, you know, when you're going against Eddie, he's going to be on the buttons. Eddie doesn't have a ton of super defensive tools. That's like his whole thing. He's yeah. glass cannon, right? Like super offensive, amazing mix-up on offense. But on defense, outside of that armor kick, he doesn't really have too, too, too much. Yeah, no. Definitely like that. And, all right, we've seen Indy. Hell sweep there. Trying to get a lot more offense. Good punish. Plus there. Now he's in heat. What a duck. Oh. That first set's but, yeah. going to 2-4 and picked up the pace. Eddie Gordo wins yeah. over Jin Kazama yeah. in that first one. And 2-4 pumping himself up. Right there, you've seen the bounce. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Game uh, in the mode. That's it. That's it. Got the headphones on. He's got his own, Bluetooth, uh, his own Bluetooth earbuds on there. And that's the thing, right, when you play with headphones versus no yeah. headphones. I mean, you have to hear the crowd when you play no headphones. You have to hear the commentators. You kind of have yeah. to hear everything. Yeah, no, there's so much going through your mind, and you just don't have the peace and quiet that you normally have. Right. Just, for some people, that just pumps them up. It does, it does, it does. But not when. Uh, here's the thing. When you're winning and the crowd's getting hype, yes. Yeah. But when you're stomped and the crowd's going ooh and ah, not yeah. so much. Yeah. Especially when the ooh and ah is in front of the other player. Ugh. But guess what? The Uzi is about to be for Indy right now. That's right. The way they're playing. Yeah, I love what I'm seeing here. This is fantastic stuff. And just like that, Jin now. All right, Indy. All right. Yeah, trying to get on the board. That's a punish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. All right. Next round here. 60 seconds on the clock to start it out. Defend the North 10th anniversary. We're in the H2 winner's quarters with 2-4 and JFG Indy. Indy getting a little bit of damage here. Both players sitting at around 75%. Yeah, and all right, the opening going up right there. Big launcher. This is going to hurt. All right. Right into the heat. He used that space right there to heat cancel. Yeah. And that's what you saw. And 2-4 now on the board. 2-4 is feeling himself. There's no doubt about it, but JFG Indy is still cool, calm, and collected. He's yeah. not out just yet. Oh, that was a big punish. Yeah, unfortunately, can't go for it like that. Not a true block swing punish. 2-4 right, is turning it up as the time goes on. Yeah, the heat activated by Indy, but not putting on much pressure. Nice hell sweep once again. That is the mix-up when you're playing the machine is hell sweep into a mid. Yeah. Now we just got to see. He keeps going for the mid. Nice plus frames there. It gave him the counter it on the wall. There's the punch, punch, down yeah. kick to finish the string. One round away, Indy is the tying it up once in a piece. And, uh, doing a fantastic job right there. And liking the back offs right there. Giving two for a bit more respect and just having them with with punish. And right. we've seen the damage right there. Let's go to the second part of this stage. Okay, nice little 40% juggle from Indy. 
to start things off here on Ascension. Nice block once again. Indy's defense is, is improving as the sets go on. Yeah. Nice plus frames right there. Okay, Indy looking to get his first set, and this is going to do it. Yes, it is. And we're one aboard on the piece. Yep, one apiece. All right, Indy's on the board, and, and like we were saying, those no headphones, crowd starts yeah. turning in your favor, you start getting a couple good juggles, yeah. now all of a sudden it becomes a buff. Yeah, and the big thing is he's finding out um, in the other person's basically springs that they like to do with Eddie. Right. right. He's now, he, that's, it's always good. That's the one caveat to winning the second set. Yeah. You've now done two full sets of digestion. You've won one and uh, the second one. So you've seen six rounds. You yeah. have a pretty good idea of what their game plan is. Yeah. Now it comes down. This is, oh, the third set is always the adaption set for both players. They change their game plans entirely. Yeah. But Indy getting that first bit of juggle damage. And I'm immediately noticing too far is a little bit more hesitant on the buttons. He's not yeah. just raw hitting them out as much as he did before. Yeah, because you see right there, Indy's doing a great job of just blocking the right. normal strings that he, they've been going for. Right. Oh! So whenever you see those Jin eyes light up, he gets this automatic uh, hell sweep stance yeah. where he gets, you know, all the characters have to do the uh, quarter circle forward roll. Yeah. He gets to go right into it as part of his stance. So Jin has that in his in his bank that's really helped right there. Really helpful. Yeah. Less execution. Definitely just makes the game a lot easier. Yeah. It's a great tool. Right there, hell sweep off that automatic stance again. There's that mid, one, two to mid. He has the low mix up as well. Plus frames, that is a high, so good duck. And right now, 2 4 looks a little bit, little flustered. Yeah. Trying to nice. find their opening, but there we go. This is going to be it. I think so. It's going to be close. It's possible, but drops it right there. Oh, good read. No. Nah. Oh, that does connect, but this is not going to scale. No, nah, yeah, not, yeah, yeah. Not going to scale that well. But it does, hey, you know what? It is extra damage. It does reset the stage here back to neutral. Oh! oh. And another low block. Yeah. 2 4 went for the, uh, knew the Hell Sweep was coming. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one caveat to going for that Hell Sweep is that it's going to get you 15%. It's pretty fast. But if you get a block, you're eating a full combo. Oh, that's good. Punish. All right. Now Indy going for the damage. Oh, nice. Yeah. With punish there. Two four. Yeah, oh, that's gonna be it. That's gonna do it. Two. Oh, one, two rounds there. I think yep. that was the set. All right. So two four is not out just yet. Let me correct myself. Two four has got to find his positioning here. Yep. There we go. Now and he's back on the button. There we go. Yeah. yeah this is the last the potential last round. So they got to do it. That was so dangerous. Yeah. That was so dangerous. Jin almost ate that big time. That's gonna be. A, that could have been a full punish. Oh, but unfortunately not. But we're seeing the grab come out right here. That is a launcher punish on that uh, back three from Eddie. Oh, he's okay, dead. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. That should be it. And it is Indy taking it right there. Fantastic job. Yeah, right wow. There. Wow. 2-4 oh, came out so strong in yeah. that first set. He dominated him. But you know what? After those six rounds, Indy found out what the strategy was. His defense improved. And it wound up paying off for him. Yeah. Let's and that, I'm looking right now. That was a seeding upset. So. Wow. Four. Yeah. Yeah. 89 Taking to one, uh, 104 there. Doing a fantastic job right there. Yeah. Well, well done. We take a look here at the 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 roads that it took to get here for these players. I know it's still early, you know early in the bracket, yeah. but but uh, we have Indy who beat Queen May two to one, and then two four beat Nape Brazlers uh, in in the first round there. So yeah. they both had some wins, but overall it's going to be um, Indy that winds up moving on to the winners yeah. winners side. Yeah. The Sun's 